Well, with Shadow retiring from his duties and heading home with the Long family, other canine officers continue their work with the Terrell Police Department. And as News 10's Jacqueline Beavis found out, these officers may face more danger than others. Jacqueline. That's right, Mark and Patrice. Canine units are often requested during times when a suspect is on the loose. And being on the front lines during a time like that makes for a dangerous job for man's best friend. Departments across the country have done studies comparing officers and their involvement in dangerous situations. Police in Mississippi looked at a five-year period and found an interesting statistic. They say one in 100 narcotics officers encountered danger during that time. That compared to get this one in 35 canine officers facing the same type of situation. While the likelihood of facing violence is high, Sergeant Todd Holler with the Terre Haute Police Department knows the vital role these four-legged officers play. For a wide variety of reasons. The primary reason is their nose. They can smell a thousand times greater than we do. And they obviously see way better than we do at night. The dogs are able to smell human scent way um, better than we are days, and see behind doors. <coughs> the dogs that we by purchased using come from Europe. Europe uh, dog. Most dogs also wear bulletproof vests similar to their handlers. Earlier this week, money for those vests was given to the police department. They say they're seeing more donations like that since the death of Officer Long a month ago, and they are being put to good use. Sergeant Holler tells us that training has changed over the years. They do work to limit dangerous situations by using newer tactics to protect both the human officer as well as the canine officers. Mark? Thank you, Jack.